Hey Epic! Welcome to our art lesson for the week. Now, this art lesson involves paint, which means that it's going to be a lot of fun, but it also has the potential to become very messy. So, step one is going to be to ask your adult for permission before you touch any art supplies. Go ahead and do that. Pause the video. Did you do it? Did you get permission? Perfect. Step two is going to be to make sure that you're wearing something that you don't mind getting some paint on, just in case. Go ahead and do that and I'll wait here. Much better. Okay. Step two is going to be to make sure that you have a nice, clean, clear workstation. You see, I cleared everything off of my desk to make sure that there's nothing around to get paint on. Step three is going to be to cover the table with something to make sure that you don't get any paint on it like I did not do in this case. Let's get no more paint on this table. Okay. All right, there we go. As you can see, all I did was take an old cardboard box and lay it on top of my table. Now, let's gather our supplies. You are going to need a piece of paper, some paint, and a paint brush. Now, I only have this little one, but really any paintbrush of any size will do for our purposes today. Okay, now comes the fun but messy part. Again, make sure that you have adult permission before you begin this. We're going to have a little bit of fun today with the paints by just putting them directly on the paper. Go ahead and make a little pattern, however you'd like. I don't really have a plan for where I'm putting these colors. I'm kind of just using my creativity. So like that. I got some silver. I thought that would look cool. It's gonna be an awesome color combination. You don't need too, too much. Like even what I'm doing might be a little bit too much, but that's okay. You guys can learn from my mistakes and create your own masterpieces. Okay, so once you've got your paints on your paper like this, all you're going to do is take your paintbrush and swirl the paint until the color fills the entire page. Whoa. Now this might look different depending on what kind of paint you're using. I know at this point we're all kind of just using whatever we have in our house. So once it's kind of mixed around like that, you can start filling in the little bits. until the whole paper is filled up. Kind of like this. Now you can see that all I did was take my paintbrush and swirl the colors. Some parts I did big strokes. Some parts I did little strokes. Whatever you feel like you want to do to fill this paper with color. Beautiful. Okay, now next step is to just let this dry. I'm going to leave this here for about two hours before I check on it again, and I'm not gonna move on to the next step until it's completely dry. So, I'm going to go wash my paintbrush, give this time to dry. When you're done with that, 
come right back, come right on back to the video and find out what the next step is. I'll see you then. Hey guys, it's been about an hour and a half since I finished the out the background of my um, painting, and it looks something like this. It's not completely dry, which is okay, but for the most part, it's dry. And that's what we need. Now, before I go on, let me make something clear. If this is how far you get with this project and you don't go any further that's totally fine that's absolutely wonderful you still made this really cool piece of art and I would love to sh see it so send it on over but if you do want this extra challenge of going into the next step here it is we are going to add what's called a silhouette to our background a silhouette is the image of a person, animal, object, or scene represented as a solid shape of a single color, usually black, with its edges matching the outline of the subject. So we're not going to go into the detail of our drawing, we're just going to draw the shape of our drawing in one color. For my silhouette, I chose to do black because my um, background is mostly lighter colors. If your background has darker colors in it, you might want to choose a lighter color. It's completely up to you. Before, before you begin, it is up to you to choose one object or animal that you want to draw. It could be anything. It's up to you how challenging you make this. I decided that I wanted to draw a silhouette of a tree. So, I'm just going to try my best. Oh, it's kind of cool. It's like mixing with the, uh, some of the paint aren't dry yet. For this part, you might want a smaller paintbrush, but it's really dependent on what you're drawing. Ooh, whoa, cool. See, I was not expecting that to happen, but I'm going with it. See how this is still kind of wet and kind of goopy? And, oh. important to remember that even when things don't go your way, all it's doing is like aiding your creativity and like giving you an opportunity to um, to make something that you might not have expected to make before. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my tree and I'll show you how it turns out. Okay, I think I'm about Done. I'm just kind of playing around with it and adding some finishing touches. Clean on the bridge. Why not? What do you guys think? See how there's not a lot of detail? It's kind of just the shape of a tree. But the mixing with the colors, because the background wasn't completely dry, made it look really cool and like multi-dimensional. I don't even know. Hmm. So this is what I created. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Have fun!